Hey there, so I am going to do my comic stuff instead of, obviously I have a lot because I haven't done videos in so long. I've gotten back into comics a lot since stopping videos. I don't think when I was doing videos at the time, I was reading them actively enough to do videos on them, but because I watch so many of you guys, and hopefully a lot of you are watching this, I kind of wanted to do what I like to watch, and I like seeing what people pick up. This is going to be for two weeks. I get my shipments um, twice a month, so this is going to be for April 3rd and 10th. Um, I haven't read any of these yet, but I have like read part of the series, so I'll talk about them. I'm going to start with Astro Hustle, because this is like the only current book I have that's already been ordered um, that I kind of wanted to drop, but didn't because I because of the two months in advance. This is 204, but apparently this has been canceled anyway, which is a good thing for me, but the reasons why is not good. So you can just Google that. Apparently the creator was involved in a scandal or something. They dropped the book. Um, the first issue I was kind of uh, on, so this is probably the last one. So, But it was already ordered, and that's how it is. So we have Conan... The regular, the Jason, the Jason Aaron run. Sorry, I got this player. Um, there we go. And Belit, which um, this is issue two of Belit, Age of Conan and Belit, and I loved the first issue of this. So if that keeps up, how issue one was, um, this is probably gonna be my favorite of the three. And there's Savage Conan as well. Um, they're all kind of good, but they they sort of switch which one's good that particular month or whatever it is um, as most people have said the main series the Jason Aaron series it's good the arts good um, it's kinda like feels like a big budgety book um, but there's no real thread it's kinda all over the place like if someone was telling stories um, three Conan books is kind of a lot if one of them starts to dip it's it's gonna go I don't know which one but for now Belit's on there and because I'm two months in advance I have them all at least for two more months um Red Sonia Sonja Sonia has been good so far this is issue three I've read one and two I love Joseph Michael Lisner of uh Cry for Dawn fame I believe he must have something to do with dynamite as well because he that's all he does is variants of dynamite stuff so. anyway the cover B is they're not hard to get and yeah this has been good so far Batman Who Laps 4. I have not read any of these, but I have them. I just caught up on the Tom King stuff. Um, I haven't read Metal at all because I got back into comics after that, but I have all these, and I hear it's good, and this is the variant. I guess it's a jock variant, but I think he's the main artist anyway. I don't know. Here's Faceless number one that a lot of people got. I got... um cover A because I like it. Um, most people know by now that there's a bunch of like um, graphic covers and they come in like a black bag type of situation. Um, I've skimmed through this. I haven't read it but it's not the book itself isn't as graphic as that so take that for what it's worth. Um, I have a bunch of these true believers I'll show. Last um, Girl in the Bay. This is Number three of four. Um, I like this so far. Obviously, I'm going to complete it. There's one more after this. I've read one and two. This is a good book for people that don't like comic books, if that makes sense. Um, I used to be the type of reader who kind of avoided superhero comics for a while. I kind of got off of it for a bit. But once you kind of get back into comics, you it's hard to avoid because there's a lot of good stuff, even within superhero stuff. Um, but for people that kind of go towards, not even really image, this just, this, this feels more like a show or a movie, but I mean that in a good way, if that makes sense. So this would be something that would maybe make a good novel, like a genre novel. Um, yeah, it's good so far. Um, check it out. The art's really good too. So yeah, I probably should have shown art 
like I said, this is these are my first videos in years, so bear with me. Um, die number five. I am so behind on this. I read issue one when it came out, loved it, and I've been pulling it since, and people love it. And I went to read number two like months later, and I was completely like, I I'm gonna have to like go back, read one, and sort of read when I catch up with other stuff, if that makes sense, because I'm reading too much. Now, I'm a huge Archie fan, um, so I get most of the modern Archie stuff. This is Betty and Veronica. Four out of five. It's a miniseries, which I do like. I really like the mainline Nick Spencer Archie book, which I'm going to have to talk about when I have one, because I don't believe there's, no, there's not one in here right now, because I have some plus and minuses. I, I could talk about the main Archie book for a while. This one's kind of like, um, obviously it focuses on, focuses on Betty and Veronica and where they're going after graduation. So, it, like most Archie stuff, things kind of cycle around. What's in, interesting is the pairing on this cover matches real life relationships if you watch Riverdale at all. Even though this isn't supposed to be connected to Riverdale, there's ripper, ripples of Riverdale within. Detective Comics 1001, I have not read 1000 yet. I'm not even on Detective, that's where I'm gonna jump on. Like I said, I caught up almost the entire Tom King run. I think I just have the newest one to read and I'm kinda in the same boat with everyone on the Nightmare stuff, but Batman out of the superheroes is probably my favorite and pardon me if I'm looking the wrong way I'm gonna have to ease my way into this but I have not read this yet but whatever I'm a huge Star Wars fan so I've been picking up all these Age of Republics I've read some of them so let's just do this separate here's Grand Moff Tarkin Ooh, these white books are not working well I'm gonna have to use another light next time and then Princess Leia um, I've read a few of these. There's a bunch. Um, so I know they're doing these in books. I wish at the time I would have just done that. It would have been easier to just have an omnibus or something because I pick up the cover A's because I don't like some of the cover B's and I like things to be uniform. So if I'm sticking with A, I try to get A. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of like puzzle piece ones and I just wasn't sure in the beginning if I wasn't going to get them all and so cover A is for me but because I'm ordering them um, through Diamond I'm not paying cover so that's cool and then I picked up a bunch of the I, I pretty much picked them all up because with a discount these come out to like 60 cents and I accidentally got two of one but it's all Avengers probably because of Endgame there's people People who don't know, True Believers are um, reprints of key issues that Marvel's trying to push of something, and they're a dollar cover, cover price, and I have a bunch. Um, Avengers, Nebula, Storm, Breaker. Um, the new previews, there's a bunch of Spider-Man ones, which is cool. Th Thanos and Gamora, which I ex accidentally ordered two, so we'll see. Maybe I'll have a stack and do a giveaway or something and then adventures running so that's about it for this like I said I get my stuff every two weeks just because it's cheaper that way and I, I don't feel like I get a ton sometimes I get more in this so I'm trying to scale back because comics are expensive um, and there's no way I, I would do cover price on everything so even at 35 to 50 percent off depending on where you're getting your stuff it's a lot of money so i'm trying to keep it to like 100 a month but it's not working so far that and i go to my lcs and pick up stuff and i'm trying to catch up on runs like um the nick spencer spider-man and yeah and under my desk right here are two short boxes of just recents so i'm probably going to pick up some runs that I've actually been reading and discuss them and some of my favorite covers and fix this light situation because of the glare because I have the blunt the outside windows are right there and those are closed so anyway thanks for watching